Welcome to the show. American Buffalo first premiered on Broadway in 1977. Two revivals later, a fourth staging is finally on the boards. Delayed by the COVID pandemic, the show was set to open exactly two years after its initially planned opening night. I spoke with the three stars, Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Rockwell, and Darren Chris, about taking on this David Mamet classic. All right, here is we go. Is it okay that we don't have our headphone things in? Yeah. What? Yeah. What, Darren? <laughs> it's gonna have to be. <laughs> Celebrated actors Darren Chris, Sam Rockwell, and Lawrence Fishburne are back on the stage, taking on a story about three small-time hustlers devising a heist to steal a somewhat valuable nickel known as the American Buffalo. What drew you all to take on this project? Why come back to Broadway? Well, it's a great play. I mean, um, I think Lawrence and I and Darren have all you know, been chasing this play for quite a few years. Different parts, different arenas, you know, but um, great writing is great writing and you just can't replace it. How hands-on has David Mamet been with this production? Not at all. He was around a little bit when we started back in 2020. We know that he gets reports about how we're doing through our director, Neil Pepe. The reports have been very good and we're excited for him to come see us. Aside from the fact that this play has been written about a lot and he's very vocal about it, he's said a lot about it. Other than Mamet sort of giving us the thumbs up, it's all so in the play that, you know, he's kind of like, you you guys just follow what I left, you follow the treasure map. Darren, did I read that you've seen every show at Circle in the Square since 09? You know what, you did, and after I said that, I checked and I missed one. So I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, go touting that too, too hard. I, I yeah, he's also going to miss this one. <laughs> I'm going to miss this one. Yeah. What's it like performing in Circle on the Square? It's beautiful. It's really great. Yesterday, a friend of mine came to see the show. He said he forgot that he was in the theater. Oh, like he was in the junk shop. That's really what it's all about. People need the theater. You know, we need to be entertained by other human beings. There's a real exchange. It's community. It's the exact experience we have been encouraged not to partake in for two years. Right. So there is a there's a real excitement and catharsis that people get to feel, you know, watching this thing unfold before their very eyes. We've been very fortunate and very lucky that we've had a bit of a livelihood on on camera and on things that perhaps might be more visible to a wider audience but despite all the other forms of entertainment mankind has come up with we have for thousands of years come back to the theater whether it be you know morpheus or versace or you know three billboards whatever it is that we do in film what we do in the theater informs that the reason chris walken can do that monologue in pulp fiction is because he's played Coriolanus in Sweet Bird of Youth and Romeo and Hamlet twice in Streetcar. I mean, he's a theater animal. During the pandemic, in the, in the heart of it, you know, people were asking, oh, well, are the other guys gonna, you know, gonna be too busy to do this? Did they miss their window of time? And I had no, you know, question marks in my mind. I was like, this is the preferred thing all of us would rather be doing. All roads lead back to the place that got us excited about it in the first place. And American Buffalo opens April 14th at the Circle in the Square Theater.